Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It, it's good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, second show up today. Going to have another good one. Uh, Going to get into Errol Spence and uh, and Keith Thurman. Um, and, and they're going to... Um, well, before we do that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel uh, on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. So please uh, follow Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, or near and dear to our heart. So let's get into this. Um, so... Um, we're going to get Errol Spence versus Keith Thurman, it, it looks like. Um, this fight was rumored for late last year um, after um, the Spence-Crawford fight fell through. It, it didn't happen. Um, you know, PBC had a December card, um, which they were looking to fill. This was obviously, you know, too big of a fight just to fill it with. It didn't, didn't come to fruition. Uh, now we're going to get it. You know, then Spence gets into a car accident. Um, thank God he's okay. Um, but now it, it does look like we're going to get this. Uh, but the interesting part is we're going to get it at 54, uh, which means no title shot, means 10-ounce gloves. How much does that change? I, I don't I don't know. Um, it, it's still a great fight. I, I don't know why we're doing it at 54. Uh, so, so a couple of things. Um, the WBA um, has given Spence 60 days um, after the fight to either sign to fight Crawford or he's going to have to fight the winner of uh, Stan Jonas and Ortiz. A, a fight with St- uh, with with Verge would, would be absolutely amazing. Uh, him fighting Verge in Dallas would be something truly, truly incredible. Um, I'm hoping that happens. Do it at Cowboy Stadium. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, I, I don't know the reality of that. I, I, I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but that would be, you know... That would be amazing. Um, that would really, <laughs> that would be as good as it gets for North Texas. Um, my guess is he's done at 47. If he can get a fight with Crawford, he may come back for it if he can. But I would not foresee him fighting the winner of Stan Jonas Verge. I just, I, I can't, I, I don't see it. Um, I, I think, you know, if that's the case, um, he'll just vacate all his belts go up to 54. Uh, I, I, I think he's done not 47 personally because I don't think uh, the Crawford fight's going to happen. So I think his, his future's at 54, which, you know, Spence is obviously a huge welterweight. Um, so we, we've been flirting with that idea for him going up, you know. It's the same thing, you know, we've been talking about Josh Taylor going from 40 to 47 forever. You know, it, it was a matter of time, right? Like, he can't keep making that weight. He's such a big dude. It's the same thing with Spence. You know, when Spence was 27, we're like, all right, and he won his title. I think he was 27 when he beat Brooke. You know, how much longer can he stay here? Well, it's been five years, you know. Um, so, but I, I, I think it's time. You keep killing yourself, draining weight, you know. I think it's time to go up to 54. Um, the, the obviously the, the obvious issue there is the guy that holds all the belts is also his stable mate and best friend, Jamel Charlo. I don't expect them to fight, you know, but I mean, he's got all the belts. He, I mean, if Spence wants the belt, I, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to happen, but another great all Texas showdown. Um, you guys don't see that happen, right? You don't see Spence, you don't see Spence fighting. Uh, little Charlo, do you? I don't see it. Um, you know, I, and I put a call into the IBF. I haven't gotten word back yet. Uh, you know, WBA is giving him 60 days. I don't know the IBF and the WBC. I, I don't know what their plans are. Um, you know, if you're going up to 54 to fight non title fights and you haven't taken a mandatory, you know, I, I, I may have to strip you. 
right? Like you're leaving the weight class. I don't know. We'll see. I, I do think this is it. I, I don't think he's coming back. You know, none of the organizations want to show because they all want the sanctioning fee that goes along with a possible Spence Crawford fight, right? You know, Spence is a big draw. Um, I, I think they all want a little piece of it, you know? So they don't, they're, they're not eager to strip him, but we know the IBF will. Um, I, I don't think the WBC will. The WBC may franchise him. You know, imagine that the WBC franchise champions him and he's fighting in a different weight class. I'm, it, it is what it is. Um, but as for the fight itself, it's a great fight. You know, I, I've gone back and forth in this fight, just like I've gone, you know, back and forth on Spence and, and Crawford. Um, you know, there was a time, 2017, 2018, like that, where I thought Thurman would win this fight. You know, I thought Thurman uh, just moved a little too much for him. He was the better athlete, right? He could he could hit just as hard. Um, it's just as much power. Um, it's a better mover, better legs, and he could, you know, keep Spence off of him. You know, Spence couldn't just walk in the front door, um, and he's too fast for Spence. And you know, not that he would blow Spence, but I, there was a time I would have leaned towards Keith Thurman. I don't lean towards Keith Thurman anymore. You know, it's been years. Keith Thurman's 34 now. Isn't that crazy? Keith Thurman is 34. You better not duck me, son, right? I mean, it was years ago. It was probably eight, ten years ago. You better not duck me, son. Um, but I, I think Spence, I think it's still a good fight. and I, I, I want to see it. It's worth the price of admission, uh, whether or not it's for a title, whether or not it's at 47 or 54. It's worth the price of admission, but I, I do think um, – you know, Thurman has slowed down enough where where uh, Spence can get on the inside. He can battle him. He can he can jab with him. He can, he can slow Thurman down. Um, he can t- take his legs away and, and cut the ring off on him. Um, so I I would pick I would pick Spence at this point. Um, you know, I've gone back. I, I, there was a time where I thought Crawford would beat Spence. I don't think that anymore. I think Spence would beat Crawford now. So you know, time changes things. I, I don't know how much of a factor this seven extra pounds and the two extra ounces in the gloves are going to make, um, but I, I, I would pick Spence in this fight. Um, yeah, and it, 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 what's interesting and and sad is that you know you had um, Crawford move up. I think it was 2017, 2018. He went to. Uh, 147 at 2018. That's five years ago now. You had Crawford, Spence, Thurman. In five years, none of them have fought each other. Not not any permutation of those three. That's really sad, isn't it? Like it's just so sad. Like you had this this five year window to make gold, right? They, they could have fought each other twice each, three times each. They could have had great fights because they're so evenly matched, right? Like, they're such good fighters. You know, they each have their own skill set, right? Like, and, and Thurman, Crawford, um, and Spence, Spence, Crawford. They could have been they could have been a big three, and they could have put together these great fights and made a ton of money doing it, and they just chose not to for whatever reason. You know, a lot of the inactivity, you know, Crawford fights once a year, uh, Spence fights once a year, Thurman fights every three years. You know, Spence is uh, – Thurman fighting is like leap year. What My, my son is born on leap day. But it's like that. Like, like I, I know when Thurman's going to fight because my son's going to have a birthday, right? Like, it's every four years. You know, he took 31 months off. He took two years off. Um, they, he, he fought twice. He fought um, Pacquiao. Then he took 31 months off. Then he fought Barrios. Now he's going to take 14, 15 months off again. I mean, and it just never came together, and, and it's so sad, right? Like, we don't get this in other sports, but, you know, we got it now. But we are going to get – we we are going to get – you're not going to get it at 47, but we are going to get it at 54. We're going to get Thurman and, and, and Spence, and it's a good fight. Uh, end of April, it looks like. Um, end of April should be should be good. Um Take it, Thurman. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please give me your predictions as well. Are you glad we're getting it? Are you one of these people who are unhappy because it's a non-title fight at 54? Um, if you have any information on why they're doing it, I'm still trying to you know figure that out. Why? You know, I've got calls in. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Give me your predictions as well. Um, it is uh, it is December. Well, please follow me on all forms of social media. Texas boxing. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. 
um, on YouTube, all proceeds from that time go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is January 10th, 2023. It is almost midnight in Texas. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.